Hello, then there were only two. We are, Deb. We are Deb. We're only you and me, and uh, Chris is at his cell group meeting in some monastery somewhere, where apparently uh, bread is about the only sustenance that they are given. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well. You know, he's, I think I think I think we're doing well. We're doing well. But there we are. Yes, that's you. It's you. It's you. It's you and me, and uh, we're we're not. It's not only in a rough a rush, dear viewer, but we're not quite sure how long Deb's free uh, <laughs> uh, Zoom account will let us have. So we're going to get on, and if we suddenly disappear, you uh, you'll just have to make the rest up for yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you <go> <laughs> Yeah, the, the saints have been called back. That's what it will the be. The saints have been called back, yeah. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, it is All Saints weekend. It's a bit like bonfire night. I just heard Alan Jones on Classic FM say, don't forget this week is bonfire weekend. It was just a day. When I was, when I was <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. And, uh, and Jay, Jay was... Planted. <laughs> that's right. And Jay was quite upset yesterday because she uh, she heard something, I think it was on Woman's Hour, she was listening to or something, I'm not quite sure what, where they said that Christmas is now a six-week season starting in the middle of November. Oh. And I said, it is a six-week season, but it doesn't start till Christmas. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's all upside down and back to front, isn't it? It is, it is. Well, it, it is It is All Saints weekend, because actually it was All Saints Day yesterday. Yes. And we did have a, lo we'd have a lovely, mid we have our midweek communion on a Wednesday, we did celebrate it. Yeah, yeah, and it's All Souls Day today. It is All Souls Day, it is. Yeah, yeah it so is. this weekend is a real mixture, isn't it? All, I mean, for us here in Bridport, we're going to be celebrating All Saints in the morning, and then we will be having All Souls services later on in the day. So Exactly exactly the same in Bevan City, yeah, we've got the yeah. same, All Saints in the morning, All Souls in the afternoon. Have you got communion at, uh, is it uh, Walditch this morning? Uh, we've got a service at Waldich, but I'm not rushing off to it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, they'll be celebrating all souls. You see, a lot of people in the church and still get worked up about Halloween. I've stopped. I've stopped getting worried about Halloween anymore because mm. the other thing that angers me about it is it's a it's a con to get money out of parents who really can't afford to be yeah. spending it. But I, I don't get worried because how can you worry about ghouls and ghosties when today we're celebrating the dead rising? Exactly, away. exactly. It's become a big thing though, hasn't it, for people? Oh, don't. It has. But, I mean, it's never been a big thing for me. Although when I when I was a child and lived up in Scotland, long before it was a big thing here, it was more kept there. I mean, mm -hmm. trick and treating and all of that when I was a little girl in Scotland was... But I mean, I dressed up as a cowgirl. It wasn't that scary. <laughs> I mean, the the first realization of uh, Halloween, really, I I can remember, must have been when I was a young teenager, and I've got a younger sister, of course, she's four years younger than myself, and uh, I remember seeing an edition of Scooby Doo one Thursday evening on the television before Blue Peter, and that was all about this. And 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 they were very gentle creatures, like Scooby Doo with a sheet over him, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. so, so I, I don't mean it, it has a bit it's again it's another americanization isn't it yeah it is and yeah. and what was i'm not against anybody having having fun and i i don't think i remember having this conversation with joe who was very against it for a long time that i don't think they actually understand it them it's just a, yeah it's just the time to have a, a party or a bit of fun isn't it yeah i think so i think so you know without then, understanding they're not far from Mexico, and the Day of the Dead in Mexico is, I mean, it, it's it got its roots in, you know, thinking about those who've gone before, which is all all souls, really, isn't it? It's it's kind it's of... Us, yeah. So it's, yeah. Well, there we are. So all souls, all saints this weekend, and we have a lovely reading, and Debs, I think you're going to read it when we've had a pause. A pause. gospel reading is written in Matthew chapter 5 beginning to read at verse 1. When Jesus saw the crowds he went up the mountain and after he sat down his disciples came to him. 
Then they began to speak and he began to speak and taught them saying, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad. For your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Mm. So a reading from the Beatitudes. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus at the Sermon in the Mount, on the Mount, isn't it? Yep, yep. You know, I found myself, because this was the reading, obviously, because it's a reading for Sunday, but so it was the reading for All Saints Day, wasn't it, yesterday? And I found myself saying at the uh, at the, the short homily that, we, that, that we, we have in that service, you know, if if you were sat in uh, Israel or Palestine today, either side of the conflict, mm. and you heard this uh, re, uh, thing, if, if you felt you were poor in spirit, and you're going to receive the kingdom of heaven. Would you feel that you was about to come? I don't think so. Mm. You know, if you are, you know, if, if you're there, you're going to be poor in spirit. Can you see that the kingdom of heaven is going to be yours? And so on, and so on, and so on. You know, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. At the moment, the only feeling is hatred, isn't it, amongst people, yeah. etc. Yeah. Um, and 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 on it goes, and it's a, uh, you know. Blessed are you, blessed, sorry, are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. And that's what's going on, isn't it? God this, God that, and it, you know, God's on our side, as we as we hear in the old Victorian attitude towards war, really, or certainly the end of the First World War kind of attitude. You know, we're right, God's on our side, you're bad, so you've got to die. Mm. And uh, it 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 suddenly brings for me brings the whole of what's going on in the world at the moment home starkly to us. Yeah, and I think probably these words are just very difficult to hear if you're living in a completely different reality. And yeah. um, I guess it's quite brave to say them um, because. Because you could just get laughed out of court, really, couldn't you? I mean, you know, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. I mean, th those words, the things that we're seeing on our screens at the moment, we're just seeing people mourning all the time. Um, but I guess, I mean, I don't know. It's, it is difficult. And there's always things that are happening in the world that make this difficult. But... Um, it's about making these words, not just words, but our lives. And, and I mean, I think that's very difficult to do, but it is about making Jesus words the way we live. And yeah. we're not always going to be able to, to do that. Um, no, absolutely. I, I agree. And, uh, you know, it's impossible to hear those words if you're in Ukraine or in Russia. It doesn't matter where the conflict is. I know we're focusing at the moment so much on what's going on out in, in Jerusalem and Gaza and all the rest of it, because it is just abhorrent, yeah. you know, to see two, two groups of people. And we so many that are absolutely innocent and have no alternative to be stuck in the middle of it and in the way of it all. Mm. Um, just trying to live their life. Yeah, I think I think the thing about All Saints Day as well is that <clears throat> often um, we do think that um, the saints are the people on the calendar and, you know, we can sort of think about them. 
but we're all called saints and and we're all in we're all in the picture and um <clears throat> and i guess you know looking at things in a different way um even even in the midst of terrible things you hear and maybe we've experienced in our own lives people who have just gone against the grain and just been a, a pool of light and goodness in the midst of darkness and i i do think about that that um hostage who was released that the the elderly woman um and you know i mean she was truthful about how badly she'd been treated but she also um was a peace campaigner and and she turned to her captor as she left and you know it's hard it's very difficult to know how we'd be in those circumstances but we do know and and we've all seen in the news not just in what's happening in the middle east but everywhere people who kind of take your breath away by the way they react even though they are suffering dreadfully and they are embodying um these beatitudes they are blessed because they are peacemakers um and that's what we have to hope for for ourselves um too but you know it, so it's easy to be was, glib isn't it it's it's not easy it is, uh, yeah I, I was reading yesterday that the, 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 the kind of definition of what the site was in those early days with somebody who brought holiness and light into into the world mm. And of course, Paul kind of changed. Uh, Saint Paul, the great writer, kind of changed what we understood about uh, about saints, didn't he? Because he said that it, saints weren't those who had gone before. Saints suddenly became the people who were turning to Jesus, yeah, the light, yeah, yeah. and uh, and and his his understanding of you know that we're all called to be light in the world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and 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 should, and should do that. I always, I always love the, the bit in the, the exciting holiness book, which gives you the book that uh, you can buy with all the saints in it. It tells you a little bit about their history. That um, All Saints Day really didn't come into being until about the 4th century. Mm -hmm. And then in the 7th century, uh, sorry, in the 4th century, it was always celebrated on the Sunday after Pentecost. So the spirit had been given to the, to the church, and then the next day, you remembered all the martyrs who died in defence of the early church. Mm. Well, a pope, notice, a pope. Isn't it wonderful that you're a pope and no one knows who you are? <laughs> a pope. <laughs> a pope, a pope blessed a church, dedicated a church to all saints in Rome in the 7th century. And from then on, it, the day of the dedication became All Saints Day. Mm. And uh, But I, I feel sorry for the pope, who we don't know who he was. But uh, it, it's, it's fascinating how these traditions as we were saying about Halloween earlier, how these traditions take off and mingle in with other aspects of uh, of uh, of people's lives and traditions yeah, in that's so right. many ways. But I do I do love it as, as we've said already that that thought that actually we're all saints. We're all called to be light in the dark world mm. and to bring goodness out of yeah. And we all know people through our lives, you know, they might be around at the moment or they might be in the past who have sort of been a beacon to us and encouraged us when things were tough in our lives. And and hopefully we are that for others as well. And I think that's that it's very egalitarian, really, the idea of all saints. It, it but it's also giving us all the responsibility to to, to take this on not just to um leave it to you know the, the famous saints who are on the calendar mm -hmm. yeah absolutely mm. absolutely who would have thought Deb, that you or i would have been called to saintlyhood i know <laughs> i know i, I i'm thought, sure i'm sure a lot of people would be going hmm, not sure about that Deb. i'm not quite sure my wife would agree but uh <laughs> <laughs> and my mother certainly would have had a, had a, had a, had a moment of depression. <laughs> the very, oh. the very but oh. we are, Divya. That, that, that's, that's, that's what it's about. And you're quite right, Deb. We are called to this as Christians. We, we are called to be a positive way forward in a, in a, in a, in a world where there is so much disharmony. Yeah. And, and I actually use the word disease, disease, because that's what it is. Yeah. With each other over yeah. so many things. 
uh, with me be, as my wife uh, chose to do last night, pick a, an argument in Bridport car park with somebody who had parked so close to us we couldn't get out of the car. And uh, and I sunk into the footwell and hid until peace broke out. I <laughs> <laughs> would think. Uh, but but, but that, that, all those elements, uh, funny as they are, you know, this is this, this season where people do things mm. and it causes upsets or mm. worry or, yeah. or, or death in so many cases. Yeah, it does. It does, yeah. So the Sermon on the Mount, a good, a good lesson for us all. Yeah. I don't think any of our sermons are as long as that, are they, Deb? No, I, I, I well, I'm sure people will hope not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. Ten minutes. My, my good colleague David Sherlock, who just stood down after twenty-five years of second work in retirement uh, at the <laughs> age of ninety-one, he wrote a book and saying that in in, in, in and I'm a paraphrase, not that Dave is watching this, I know he won't be. A paraphrase, basically, if you can't say what you've got to say in ten minutes, then you're over the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I um. Actually, I remembered um, David Sherlock when I was uh, when I was in my last parish. We I prepared a whole lot of youngsters for um, confirmation, and he came to All Saints School and confirmed them. And he was so delightful with all the children; it made a real impact. He was really kind, and I'd I'd forgotten about that. And when you were talking about him the other day, it reminded me um, that he was a, a little sign of light uh, for us then so so yes. i'm thankful for him and i, I see at the school in white under the last chap who's just left that uh, they've got this wonderful christian club haven't they yeah they have the yeah. the i was really impressed with that i thought yeah the way the children engaged there weren't many of them but they they were proud to wear their badge of christianity weren't they yeah yeah and and um Quite a few of those youngsters were part of the pilgrimage that happened in the summertime um, and they came over our way. So um, they stayed here in Bridport and they went up to Whitchurch Canonicorum um, yeah. and they, you know, it was a pretty gruelling um, sort of uh, uh, road that they trod, but they were brilliant. So, yeah, yeah, hats well, off to good. them. That's, yeah, good luck to them. Well done. Yeah. Say, say, say. Different sense, maybe today, saints all together. Yeah. Well, there we are, Divya, because we, we, we'll be, we, I know that Deb and I are keeping an eye on the top corner of our screen because we're never quite sure when this is going to drop out after half an hour, 20 minutes or so. So we're, uh, we're, we're, being, uh, we're being awfully careful. Yes. Yeah. Ho hopefully, Reverend Grask will be back with us next week from his monastery. Yes. And order will yeah. be restored. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not quite sure about that. He'll be back from his monastery experience. And, uh, and 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 all will be well. You've got a busy weekend, have you, Debs? Yes, quite busy. Yes, and you? Well, yeah, be, be, being our all souls type type of time. I've got more. I'm, it's it's funny because Burstock, one of our very very country rural parishes, where the church is in a farmyard, in effect, really, which is lovely. They always and always have done in all my time and before. They celebrate Remembrance Sunday a week early. Oh. So that they don't clash with Broadwinter because they you know they couldn't get clergy, you know, being so many parishes, they had difficulty nice. getting clergy at the time, or the standard bearer to bring in his standard from the British yeah. speaker. So they've always had it a week early. And so it's this Sunday. And uh, I know the church will be absolutely well, I'll say absolutely full. I'll be surprised if there aren't 30 or so, which is you know double the the, the normal congregation. It's choral matins as well added into it. And we were very funny because we've really we've really specialized. If you like quarter matins, if you have, come along to Burstock. It's it's slightly changed. It's usually the fourth Sunday, but to fit in with remembrance, we've moved it this month. Uh and uh, we, we have we have a, a small choir of about eight people made up of the Beminster singers who come and sing all the anthems and the and the settings. Ooh. And it's quite it's quite glorious in this tiny country parish that and so we've got, we've kind of, I've said to, to Burstock, yeah, you're good at this, you know, specialise yeah. in it. And people do come from all over the place. Oh, uh, that's to good. It. Yeah. yeah it's, quite, it's quite interesting. It's quite interesting. And uh, and on a normal fourth Sunday, we, we would probably have double the congregation we would have from 
the fall the other week in the month when they have communion. Mm -hmm. They're all BCP. That's what they like, and I don't mm -hmm. intend to, to change that. They're, they're comfortable with it, and they're of an age where, or most of the congregation of an age that you know it's what they like and love. So yeah. it's going to be good. So, so I would burst off for that, and then back at four o'clock for the uh, memorial service for all souls. Mm, yeah, yeah. Well, it will be. Uh, there'll be a lot on on Sunday, but. Uh, it's really good to welcome people into church, particularly those who've been bereaved recently. Um, it's quite difficult for people, but uh, I know it means a lot. So it will be quite a quite a time for people. Um, I don't know about you, Deb, but we've had an... Uh, 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 I can't say horrific, that's not the right word. We've had way over the number, about 20% higher number of funerals and bereavement ministries this year than we would normally have. Mm. I've written 77 families yeah. of, that were bereavement. Now, that could be funerals. That could be um, burials of ashes coming back from outside of the parish. Mm -hmm. But 77 families I wrote to to invite them to our service, yeah. normally around 50. Yeah. No, I think I, I think ours is similar number. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's um, just reminds you that everybody's always going through these things, aren't they? Constantly, constantly. Somebody's and, always uh, going through them. Yeah. And on Monday, the second of our of our new bereavement cafes that uh, I've, I've set up, uh, which started last month, and um, mm. was appreciated. We, we, we went over and inundated with people who came, but those who came found the friendship and, and yeah. you know, and that and just what they wanted. So, I think I think you know, for me, bereavement ministry has always been a central part of my ministry where. I know with Jo, you know, she, she does marvellous jobs with the families and the children and baptism, them, et cetera. Um, and whilst I do that, of course, we all do, because that's part of our role. Yeah. For me, bereavement ministry has always been a, something of, of uh, and I guess that's perhaps coming from the nursing background where I've dealt yeah. with it in the yeah. past. I don't know. So there we are. So there we are, Div. You are lots of things going on in the in the Bemington, Bridport, and in Egerton and Colmers, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, when, when, the boy, when the boy gets back, I'm sure he'll be... <laughs> his neck in it and uh, uh and so you know where we are and yeah. uh, we look well, forward always to good to see you yeah. yeah look forward to seeing you next week all right yeah thanks very much indeed we'll Take see you care, next week. and Bye, um then. we'll see you all soon um we hope that you can press the right button to get yeah, this yeah now i'm just finding the right button